A new study out of UC San Diego is offering hope for COVID long haulers. These are people struggling with mysterious symptoms months after their battle with the virus. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why a certain kind of heart medication may help. Roughly one out of every 10 COVID survivors gets lingering symptoms like chronic fatigue, shortness of breath and brain fog. Those are symptoms UC San Diego cardiologist Dr. Pam Taub is very familiar with. When we started delving a little bit more in depth into the long hauler syndrome, what we see is they share many of the features of POTS. POTS stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's a fancy medical term that just means your heart rate shoots up when you stand up. It's most common in young women, and it's a condition Dr. Taub has been studying the last few years. When you have an elevated heart rate, you get short of breath, Sometimes you have chest pain, you don't feel well, you're not able to stand up, you're not able to do your usual activities. And then there's the brain fog. When your heart rate is high, it's really hard to get things done. It's hard to focus. You can think about it as kind of a flight or fight response all the time. So basically what we have come to the conclusion is Patients with COVID long hauler syndrome, especially if they have an elevated heart rate withstanding, have POTS. Not every long hauler case is POTS. Some of those symptoms could be caused by blood clots or scarring in the lungs. But POTS is known to occur after an infection, including a viral infection that disrupts the immune system. The theory is when you have an infection, you produce certain antibodies and these antibodies attack the regulatory systems of the body. So systems that regulate blood pressure and heart rate. This week, Dr. Taub published the first randomized controlled trial on POTS patients and a heart medication called Evabradine. The study showed the drug calmed their overactive heart rates without significant side effects. Evabradine is already FDA approved for another disease, so doctors can do what's called an off-label prescription. This is something that I have used with my patients that have COVID long haulers, and many of my colleagues across the country have, have done the same. And now that you have a clinical trial, it's also a little bit easier to appeal to insurance companies to cover the drug. In other words, this study could save patients hundreds of dollars on the drug if it gets insurers to pick up the costs. She's hoping the data encourages more doctors to try the treatment, offering some COVID long haulers needed relief. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.